Happy New Year everybody, this is Jennifer Angel and my report for the first week of the year, January the 1st, so I hope you have, have something lovely planned with, with someone lovely, <laughs> or if you're watching this after New Year that you had a, a great time. So this is a fabulous year coming up, I've got all the uh, 2008 reports, um, I did two reports this year, um, if you haven't seen them, uh, one a uh, snapshot two minute report for those that just love it. Uh, Love it how I just give it to you straight in two minutes and uh, another full uh, report for each sign, 20 to 30 minutes. So very interesting. There's lots of, uh, you know, planetary movement this year, like major planetary movement, which is going to make it a very interesting year. Much better than 2017, I think. I hope. I know a lot of people are, you know, happy to say goodbye to 2017. So... Let's see. Um, all right, so this week starts off so with um, the sun is going to sextile um, Neptune. So, you know, this is a very nice, intuitive, romantic, and inspirational uh, energy to kickstart the week, which is nice. Uranus will come out of. Um, retrograde so that can unsettle things a little bit but it can also bring things to fruition and cause some excitement and maybe some surprises too. Venus will also sex, sextile Neptune and this sort of brings in opportunities and when we look at Venus and, and Neptune together it's a very romantic energy. Uh, it's it's you've got to be a little bit careful with the monetary side of Venus with a uh, Neptune because even though that sex dot is an opportunity, it still <clears throat> is. You want to get the facts right, okay? So uh, not hearsay, uh, not you know. It's easy to get like a little bit sort of over infatuated. It's probably a good word. <clears throat> So you want to get the facts right. Make sure you're all on the same page. Not here. Say, do your own research. Okay. It's so not to say an opportunity for business and money is not going to be good, but you want to make sure that you've got one foot on the ground while you've got your head in the clouds there okay and as i said for love it's beautiful it's a very love you know nice romantic enjoy the moment type vibe so um you know just enjoy and then later on in the week when um mercury the communication planet is going to have a very favorable interaction with uranus so it's it's creative energy here <clears throat> um, something can come out of the blue which is going to be you know always blindside you but in a nice way okay and uh, communicative so you know to, going into the weekend next weekend the 6th and 7th then that vibration is there as well as Mars and uh, conjunct Jupiter which brings forward so we've got opportunities, certainly creative um, uh, ideas coming up and, um, you know, with the Mars, and Mars helps to put things into action and gets it exciting and motivating and, of course, uh, Jupiter is all about sort of opportunities. So you want to keep your goals in mind and just on that, if you haven't done your goals or your New Year resolutions yet, I do have an article on the article page of jenniferangel.com uh, on what some of your New Year resolutions could be. Okay, so they're like some something to think about just to give you some ideas. So go along and have a look at that. Okay, <clears throat> I'll go ahead now and do the individual reports. So love and luck to you. Happy New Year. We'll look forward to seeing you all the way through 2018. Bye for now.